Has my iPhone been hacked? You worry about this when your iPhone start acting weird. Like apps open and close itself automatically. Receiving pop-ups warning your iPhone has been hacked. Green or orange dot won't turn off on the screen. Unrequested Apple ID verification codes texted to your phone from other locations. Receiving strange calendar invitations. Battery draining fast. Data usage increased substantially. All these symptoms seem to strengthen your doubts. This being said, how can you actually check and remove these hacks? In this video, we'll be taking a deep dive into this. Let's get started. If you got a pop-up like this after clicking on some shady links inadvertently, warning that your iPhone has been hacked, and you need to install some protection tool to solve it, don't go for it. They are nothing but scams, trying to trick you into sending personal account information so they can fraudulently take money from your bank account or access your Apple ID, etc. All you need to do is ignore and remove it. To prevent this kind of browser hijacking, go to Settings, Safari, turn on Block Pop-ups, prevent cross-site tracking, and fraudulent website warning. Then you can go ahead and clear history and website data. Likewise, if your iPhone calendar is overwhelmed by spams, that's probably because you once clicked on some subscription links inadvertently. To remove them, go to Settings, Calendar, Accounts, Subscribe Calendars. Then go ahead and delete the ones you don't need anymore. See, they are gone. If you're receiving unrequested Apple ID verification codes and concerned that someone else have access to your account, go to your Apple ID page, then check if there are suspicious devices in the list. Find them out and then remove them from your account. Then you want to modify your credentials so these never happen again. Tap password and security. Make sure you have enabled two-factor authentication, then tap change password and be sure to use a strong one. If you see the green or orange dot on your screen, it indicates some apps are using your camera or microphone. To check them out, go to Settings, Privacy, in Camera or Microphone page, toggle the switch off for apps you don't trust. If your battery is draining unusually fast, you can find out the culprit in your battery page. There might be some shady third-party apps consuming your battery. Once you find it, Go ahead and deleted it from your device. In iPhone storage, you can find out which apps are increasing your data usage, then offload or delete them. Apple is also so considerate that they offer you a security recommendations feature in the password page. You can change password for sites that might compromise your credentials. If your apps are keeps crashing, your first best bet would be try out the Force Restart. It's free and requires no computer. For iPhone 12 or later, is press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down, then press and hold the side button, let it go when you see the Apple logo. If the issue persists, here is how to repair your iOS using Rayboot. You'll need to connect your phone to the computer with an USB cord, then proceed with the standard repair, which keeps all your data and settings. If your device is jailbroken, this can help you unjailbreak it. Once downloaded the firmware, you can start repairing. Well done. Now everything has been refreshed. Feel free to check it out. The next method is restore iPhone from iTunes backup. Click on restore backup and select the previous backup to confirm. This will get you to the point when everything is normal. If your iPhone is still behaving badly, updating or reinstalling the iOS would be a good idea. Connect your phone with iTunes and then put it into recovery mode. Then continue with the update in iTunes. Download the firmware, then iTunes will be updating. Come so far, I bet you have solved the problem. 
But if not, you might consider erasing everything from your phone and start over. You'll lose the data, but this should work at 100%. That's it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is Tenorshare channel. I'll see you in the next one.